the Asana Show. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to give you guys lessons that I've learned in the 24 years that I've existed on this planet. And I know like I'm only 24, there's probably gonna be older people looking at me like, okay, who is this girl and who does she think she is? But I just wanted to kind of give you my tips. Number one, people are going to complain regardless of what you do. It doesn't matter if you are the most perfect human being, you don't backbite, you don't gossip, you mind your business, you get your money in order, people are still going to complain about you no matter what. So I saw this Instagram post where there was this person who was like, oh, these people who carry water bottles around with them think they're better than everybody else. And there was a, in the post, there it was like a tweet. And then someone retweeted that post and then they said, oh, this shows that even if you're just drinking water, people are going to have a problem with you. And it really woke me up and I was like, that's so true. This person was legit just carrying a bottle of water and the person who saw them immediately assumed that they were arrogant or they thought they were better than everyone. And it's like, that's my first tip. People are going to complain regardless and that's why you should never dim your light for anybody. Number two, do not label yourself by your career. Don't even label yourself by your hobby. Just detach yourself from labels. When you attach yourself to an identity and it's, a, it's an identity that you don't like, you're going to feel very low because and I don't know what it is about American society, but if you're not like working as a respectable career, people look down on you. Like if you're a nursing assistant, they look down on you. If you're a janitor, they look down on you. And it's like, you don't have to introduce yourself, your identity as what you work as. Cause some people, they're only working to pay the bills. So never identify as, oh, hi, I'm an unemployed or hi, I work at McDonald's. Like don't put your identity in a box. Let me make this number four. Everybody who screams to the rooftops that you're getting old, you're gonna expire, you need to get married, all these people are a load of baloney, okay? Because here's the thing, people are like drooling over Rihanna and Beyonce. And I don't know about Rihanna, I think she's in her mid 30s right now, and Beyonce is in her 40s. And it kinda shows me, honestly, even like Jennifer Lopez, Shakira, like if you list all of the women that people are consider like hot or attractive now, Megan Fox, they're all in their late 30s, early 40s, which kind of shows that you getting older is nothing to worry about. It's just society tries to scare women who reach a certain age. Like for me, I am I just turned 24, so a lot of people feel comfortable asking me why I'm not married, you know? I know it's gonna start soon. People say that you start aging after 30, and oh, you need to be careful, And it's like, it's not that serious, because at the end of the day, all these guys who were like, you're expired out after 30 are the ones who will literally give all their life savings to go meet Rihanna, okay? Number five, exercising really does help. I've started to go to the gym a week ago and I've been getting a good night's sleep I've been feeling a lot better about myself and I, honestly my fifth tip is like don't exercise to look a certain way just exercise so that you can get a lot of health issues out of the way like trouble falling asleep and stuff like that number six or seven people are going to always question things that you do that are not normal I, I felt like a zombie in a sense where it's like I was dimming my light I was holding back because I wanted to make other people feel comfortable around me. But once I started my YouTube channel, I realized that the only way I can be happy is by being myself, even if it makes other people uncomfortable. So yeah, that's all I have to say in my video and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.